2016 is the year that the 3D printer grows up. I'm here at the Robo 3D booth speaking with Dan, who's going to explain why their units, their 3D printers, might be your next make or purchase. Dan, I love the gear. Explain to me what you think sets Robo 3D aside from your competitors. Well, the, the fantastic thing about Robo 3D is that it is able to provide the biggest print size on the market. So what you see over here is a 10 by 9 by 8 inches build, okay? That's a really good solid build that you've got. At the same time, you've got also the fastest speed on the market at 800, eight, sorry, 80 millimeters per second. Also down to 50 microns, which is a really high resolution. But the real interesting thing is the different filaments that we have that are able to democratize the whole of the 3D printing uh, market for the consumer. I want to get into the filaments for, in just a bit, but let's talk about the specs because this is actually important. What we've seen over the last, I'll say 18 months, is there are more and more companies that are offering 3D printers, which means it's getting more difficult to differentiate yourself. And the way that you differentiate yourself is you offer better resolution and you offer faster prints, larger print sizes, which, which is what attracted us to the Robo 3D booth. Now, if, if someone was looking to start off Give me price points. So looking from, from this first printer to this one to this one, what are they looking at if, if they want to start up with the Robo 3D? Well, right now on the market is the uh, Robo R1, which uh, the R1 is at $799. So that's the real workhorse. If you want a fantastic print and with a whole variety of materials, that's the one to get. The entry level one, which is going to come into the marketplace around about May, June of this coming year, is it around about under the, the $1,000 uh, market, uh, Mark? And that is a, uh, a five by five by five inches um, build size. The difference here is the electronics and the internal uh, mechanics. So what you have is you have the bed going up and down rather than the nozzles going up and down, making for a much higher resolution and a much stabler build. Over here, you have the prosumer version, and the prosumer version allows you to have two nozzles doing different materials all at the same time. And also at the same time, you can buy an attachment which will allow you to have ceramics. And so if you've broken your grandma's favorite Wedgwood china, you can reconstruct it without her even knowing. Well, I'm kidding, but you know, that, that, that is one of those things, as well as doing food. And so you can have all sorts of icing mixtures, as well as um, something high in cellulose that will be able to print an amazing feature for your special dinner party. Dan, let's talk about filaments, because it used to be the, the, the debate with filaments was, do I go ABS, do I go PLA, do I do NinjaFlex, what temperature do I want to run my extruder? We've, we've kind of gotten past that. PLA is a great material to work with. It's non-toxic, but we can now get variants of PLA. Tell me about what we've got in front of us. Well, this, this particular PLA right now that you have, and if, you've, if you actually feel it, is, um, is wood-infused PLA. You can sand it, you can varnish it, you can actually use it like wood. Okay, so this over here, um, and compare this to the heaviness of the copper-infused PLA. Copper-infused allows you to polish it, and it reacts the same way. It gives a beautiful green sheen after a period of time. Okay, and so those kind of materials are available to you. Um, at the same time, you have a latex type of PLA, which allows you to do tires. Interesting stuff like that. Isn't that fun? Okay, so not only can you build your car, you can also put on the tires at the same time. Um, you also have a iron-infused PLA, which reacts the same way as iron. Um, so if you want your action man figure, not only do you have a plastic uh, type of a, uh, an application, but also you can make real iron parts and gloves and boots and that kind of thing. So democratizing it all in terms of people being able to access different types of prints and also with different materials is probably the most important thing that we can do. Dan, thank you so very much for talking with us. Now, if they want to find out more about Robo 3D and your entire line of printers and filaments, where can they go? Of course, you can go to Best Buy and purchase your, um, your uh, fantastic R1 uh, printer. 
soon to bring in the R2, uh, both in terms of Mini. But more importantly, um, if you want really fantastic, up-to-date, uh, please come to www.robo3d.com. Thanks for speaking with us. Robo3D, dream it, build it, make it.